Hello, my name is Professor John Benjamin. I'm the Assistant Professor of Graphic Design at West Virginia Wesleyan College, and I'm going to introduce you to Premiere. In this video, I'm just going to show you the interface and how to import media. Great, let's begin. So hit File, New Project, and save it to somewhere appropriate, and you should get an interface that looks something like this. Now, it may look a little different than mine, and we're, let's go ahead and get that straightened out so we're on the same page. So what, we'd like you, what I'd like you to do is go to Window, Workspaces, and then click on Assembly. So here in Assembly, what happens is, is it just, all it does is rearrange my panels, and so my, my, um, my project panel here is a lot larger, because that's what I want to do. I want to bring footage in here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to drag some footage in. You can click on this same footage from YouTube, but if you don't have, if you're watching this not from YouTube and you don't have access to these files, I'd like to show you a really great place to get them. If you go to the web and go to pexels.com slash videos, and here you have a whole bunch of videographers that have done a wonderful thing. They provided their own footage to us for free to use for maybe starting businesses or, in our case, for, for learning. And all they ask is an, occasionally, in, if they say so, an attribution or um, to give them a little shout out and say thank you on social media. So go ahead and select um, four or five pieces of video from nature and from, um, from people. So you can do that here on Pexels. And I'd also like you to find a piece of music here on freemusicarchive.org. You can make an account and download free music. So for this, for not for this particular lesson, but for later, we're going to use some music. Okay, so once you have those, uh, I'd like you to drag them into your project panel, which I'm going to do now on my computer. So I'm just going to drag files right here into my project panel. And I should mention that you won't have these bins here like I have. I've already made those just to save a little bit of time. So the first thing you'll want to do is to make these bins. And so let's go ahead and do that. Right here and here at the bottom, you have the new bin um, icon. You click on that, and I'm just going to name this one footage. All right, and then you'll want one for music, for graphics, photos, sequences, and footage. So I'm going to go now, and I'm going to um, drag my music file and put it in my music bin. Then I'm going to drag all of these footage files and put them in my footage bin. And there things are nice and neat. So organization is critical. It's why it's the first step. Editing can get really complicated really quickly. So you want to have things really well organized. And also you always want to be mindful that this project could be something you work on with a team or it could be handed off to someone at a later point. So you want things to be organized and intuitive. So that brings us to the next item up. For business here. We're going to need to name our files appropriately. So some of these files already have decent names, but other ones don't, like this is Pexel Video. So I'm going to right click on that thumbnail and I'm going to select Rename. And I'm going to say Drone Ocean. You want to come up with a naming system that's pretty simple and still intuitive. These are students, not too complex. And this one is Waterfall. Great. All right, so now that we have all of our files in here in our bins, we can go to the next step, that's editing. I will point out that you can navigate backwards. So like right here, I'm going to click this little folder. It's going to take me to my top folder, where then I can go inside here and take a look at my other items by double-clicking on them. And I can go back. You can also come down here and change your look to a list view, if that's how you like to work. And um, then you can just open up your files in this way. Now, one of the things I'll point out here that we are in list view, you'll notice some files just have a purple icon and some have a purple and green icon. This file here, this indicates that there is audio and video. This particular drone footage, and drone footage never does, uh, has no audio, so you don't see it there. If I come down to music, just the audio icon. So just something to point out there. All right, and that's the end of this episode. Uh, we have our footage and our other files organized, so now we're ready to start putting them together um, into a sequence. See you next time.